I went to see an old friend, I went to his place of business, and he had seemingly turned into a giant colicky baby. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Where are the chickens? <laughs> No, actually, he hadn't. It's just a mask. And I was not surprised at all because my buddy Mikey Maloney is the proprietor of the parlor. Ooh. Anyone who has vacationed or spent time on Long Beach Island over the past half century knows the parlor, formerly known as the Dollar Parlor. It's where you go for the vacation essentials. <laughs> Squawking rubber chickens, <laughs> whoopee cushions, even a special coffee can to put your ashes in once you're dyed and okay. cremated. Oh. All the essentials. The kicker is the secret spider that comes down. What is, oh my God. Ran into a kid picking up some fake parking tickets to put the slap on cars all along Long Beach Island. Always a good gag. DWS violation, which is driving while stupid. For years we've been trying to figure out who's been kissing the Jaws poster and a woman finally came out Memorial Day weekend and explained to us that every year she comes up the steps, she gives the, puts on a bunch of lipstick at the bottom of the steps, comes up the steps and kisses Jaws. No, I wasn't there just to goof around. I was there for a momentous occasion. The parlor was being honored in a way that I think is the most, <sighs> there, well, let's put it this way. There's no better honor from one New Jerseyan can place on another New Jerseyan than to, of course, name a sandwich. Uh. That's oh, big. that's a big deal. That's big. Yes. Did you bring a sandwich? No, I didn't bring the sandwich. I ate it. <sighs> to mark its 50th year, the parlor was being honored by the eatery Spice It Up, also located in the Bay Village complex, with unveiling its parlor squawkin' chicken sandwich. Oh it's grilled chicken breast, roasted pepper pesto, and the panini version had melted cheese smeared with herb butter on there and put it in a press. Really good. This was delicious. So good. <laughs> Many pe people uh, get the honor of having a sandwich named after them or their or their business or their chicken. So Mike is the third owner in 50 years, which is amazing. And this year, he's already saying business is up 10 percent. Wow. Doo doo. Fidget spinners. Ah. Oh, yes. The plot thinner. This was the, my favorite thing. There's this hollowed out horse head, and you put peanut butter in this thing and you hang it from a tree, and the squirrels come and stick their head into the horse. Uh, traps them? No, uh, but it oh, looks like they have a horse head. No, they look like a squirrel with a Do horse head. Do we have a picture it's hilarious. of that? Wait, it's the first thing that pops up when you type into Google, horse head squirrel feeder. We need to... Uh-oh, what did you just see? You gotta come look at it. You gotta come look at it, it's hilarious. Hold on. Oh, look at that. You know what? That's all kinds of funny. Look at the horse head squirrel. I, I don't think it's funny to the squirrel. Look at that. Uh, you know what? It keeps getting better. This is the gift that keeps on giving. It's 12 bucks. You know what? Yeah, but how many smiles bucks. will it give right. you? The smiles are priceless. Peace out, Chasing News.